Uh, hello, welcome to this video. Uh, this video is, I guess, a response to a video that um, Presh Talwalker uploaded on his channel Mind Your Decisions. The um, video was uploaded yesterday on the 6th of October and it was called An Interesting Triangle Problem from Peru. Um, on his channel, Presh solved it using a scale drawing and um, some trigonometry. Uh, in this video, I'm going to try to solve it using only plane geometry with um, no trigonometry. Okay, so here's the uh, question here, and we're given this triangle. We're also given the fact that BC and DC are equal, so we've got BC and DC is equal, and we've got these angles here uh, 3x, 3x, x and 5x and obviously we want to solve for what the value of x is. So to solve this I'm going to use a theorem called the x center of a triangle which is defined as a point where the bisector of one interior angle and bisectors of two external angles um, of the opposite sides of the triangle intersect and they intersect at a point called the x center. So let me show you what that means. Okay, so let me show you what an X center is on this triangle here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bisect an internal angle, which will be this one here, and two external angles, which will be these two, and they're going to meet at the X center. So let's first of all just go to our angle bisector tool. Here it is. And here we go, we've bisected this internal angle. Now what we're going to do is we'll bisect our first external angle. And here we go, we've bisected the first external angle. And notice that these angles meet at a point, they meet at a point here. Now this point where the bisector of one internal angle, which is this red one here, and one external angle, this point where these two angle bisectors meet, is the X center. But a property of the X center is that it bisects one internal angle and two external angles. So if we bisect this external angle down here, theoretically it should also go through the X center. So let's test it out and we'll bisect this angle and here we go, and we can see that yes, indeed it does. It does go through the X center here. So this is our X center, and it's the X center of, and I'll just uh, shade in the triangle so you can see it nice and clearly. So this point is the X center of that triangle. Okay, so back to the question. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to extend line CB out so it's a little bit longer and out it goes here like this. And what I'm interested in is I'm interested in this angle here. And I note that this angle is going to be equal to 4x. Okay, so this angle is equal to 4x. Uh, the reason for that is because it's 3x plus x and the exterior angle here is equal to the sum of these two interior angles. So this is 4x. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a bisector for angle B. B, C, D. So down it goes here and let's just make it a black line. So here it is and I'm going to extend this bisector all the way down till it hits A, D which is maybe about here. Now let's take a look at some of these angles and sides. So this is a perpendicular bisector so we know that this and this are the same because they're 90 degrees, it's perpendicular, and we'll just call this point F. We know that BF and 
df are the same because it's a perpendicular bisector and we also know that triangle BFC and DFC are congruent triangles because they've got a side here, a side here, a common side and an angle in between. And we know that the top angle BCF must be the same as angle DCF. So let's just label those um, values in for us now. And we can see this must be an X and this must be a 2x. Uh, the reason of course for that was the top was originally a total of 4x so when I split it into half I've got 2x here and 2x here. Okay so now let's get another angle so first of all let's just label this point here and let's give this point a name this can be point G and what I notice is that angle um, CGD here, CGD is going to equal to 6x. So there it is, CG, um, CGD equals to 6x. The reason is here's 5x and here's this x here. So this equals to 6x because it's the uh, exterior or external angle here and 6x equals to 5x plus x because of course this angle here um, AGC is 180 minus 6x by the angle sum of the triangle. Okay so now we're going to construct another line on this triangle and what I'm going to do is I'm going to join point B to point G like this and looking at this I've now got these two triangles GBF as you can see here and GDF as you can see here and of course looking at these triangles we can um, see quite clearly that um, these two triangles are congruent because we've got this and this as a right angle um, GF is common um, BF and DF are the same so that must mean that BGF also equals to 6x as those are matching sides in these two congruent triangles GBF and GDF. Okay and this of course allows us to find another angle. It allows us to find this angle up here. So this angle up here which I um, haven't given a name to yet so let's just put on a point so it can have a name too and let's call this point H. So it's going to let us find angle HBG. So let's look at triangle BGC. Notice I've got 6x in here and 2x in here. This plus this is a total of 8x. So of course that implies that from here to here must be a total of 8x and that of course means that angle ABG is going to be equal to 4x. Okay but this is going to hopefully give us um, some interesting properties in our triangle BGC. So what we're going to do is we're going to label in all the internal and the external angles. So let's say I label the internal angles with green. So we can see here's one internal angle, here's one internal angle, and here's one internal angle. And I'm just shading them in green. I'm not actually using this little green arc to imply these angles are equal. And let's now take a look for the external angles. So the first external angle, it's uh, nice and easy to see. It's uh, here, angle HBG. The next one is going to be a little bit trickier. So what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to just extend out line BG. So it's going to come down to here like that. And it's gone straight through point G. Uh, sorry about that. And we can see we've got one external angle here. And let me just put this pen on like this. 
So we've got one external angle here like this. Hopefully you can see that's the external angle. And let's get the third external angle now. We may not really need it, but let's just do it for a sake of um, completeness. Extend this out by just the tiniest little bit and we can fit our last external angle on like this. So hopefully you guys can see when we're looking at uh, this, we've got triangle B, G, C. The three um, internal angles are B, G, and C here. And the external angles are, here's the external angle at B, Here's the external angle at G, and this one here is the external angle at C, if I'm drawing my um, external angles on going uh, anti-clockwise. But we can deduce something quite interesting from this because let's now take a good look at what our line AC is doing. So here's my line AC, and my line or my interval AC is bisecting this, this angle here, this internal angle at C, line AC is bisecting this internal angle at C, but take a look at what line AB is doing. Line or interval AB is bisecting this external angle here at B. And remember what I said before, if I've got a bisector of an internal angle, and a bisector of an external angle, they meet at a point called the excenter. So that must mean that point A, point A here, is the excenter, point A is the excenter of triangle BGC. But remember also, the excenter bisects one internal angle, which we see here, but not just one external angle, it bisects two external angles. So here it is bisecting one of the external angles, but by definition, the excenter is actually going to have to bisect two external angles, and uh, can you see the other angle that it bisects? It's going to bisect this angle here. I haven't actually given it a name, but um, hopefully you can uh, see this angle here must also be bisected because point A is the excenter, so it's going to bisect angle HBG. It's going to bisect angle BCG, which is the internal one. So there it is bisecting an external angle. Here it is bisecting an internal angle. And by definition, it also has to bisect the other external angle, which is here. So that means that we can say that this angle here is, of course, going to be 6x because this one and this one have to be the same because it's bisected, because this is the X center and this is the other external angle that it bisects here. But now if I look at these three 6x's, 6x plus 6x plus 6x, I can solve a uh, nice easy equation, 6x plus 6x plus 6x equals to 180 degrees because they're angles on a straight line. So 18x equals to 180 degrees and x equals to 10 degrees. And there we go, a solution using um, no trigonometry. Okay, um, thank you very much everyone for uh, watching this video.